Hello everyone and welcome back to another cash stuffing video. Last time I put money in those envelopes for the very first time and today let's see what I've got for this time and what I have left for my other envelopes. If you're not familiar with, with what cash stuffing is, there are plenty of videos out that to explain to you. So if you're really interested then please check it out. It's, um, it's a really fun system on how to manage and budget your money and how to save some money in certain categories. I think it's pretty much self-explanatory. So let's just get started. This month I have planned 800 I mean, not this month, this paycheck, I have $818 to stuff. It's actually $819 in some sense, um, but I just I just planned with $818, this is how I did it. Um, I made a major mistake, not major, it's not that big of an inconvenience, but I got, I got a paycheck end of January, which I cashed in February, like almost the second week. So my little pea brain, my pigeon brain thought that that was my first paycheck of February, which wasn't the case. I just moved out last month, so I had to pay rent and everything already, which meant that I had no, no expenses like I usually do. Like everything was already paid off for some reason. I don't know what happened there. Um, but everything's good, everything's alright. So this was actually end of January and this is my very first February check. Um, which means I'm a little bit ahead, which I absolutely love and I think I want to keep this going. You know, next paycheck I could say I want to spend the $425 on something else that I rent because I still get my other paychecks. But no, I think I want to keep this going, I want to keep being early for those hard times that we all have once in a while where you just break your head over your finances and you wish you did something earlier. And that's what I'm doing. So let's just get started. Here I have rent. I took nothing out of rent, obviously. And for rent I have my other 425. This should be 400 already. They had no 50s, so you just did with this. Alright. 425, which means rent is ready. I think I will pay rent early. Oh, I hear something by the door. Yep, my package arrived. Let me get that real quick because I live in a bad neighborhood and if someone sees I have a package out there, oh my god, it's a time battle. Alright, my second tripod arrived. Actually, do you want to try it out right now? I think I want to give it a try. Alright, what do we think? Do we like this? Do we not like this? I guess I will see once I edit this video. And I will probably hate it. I will be like, oh. Damn, why did I change the, the tripod? Everything's different. I mean, the best way to see if it works is to test it out, right? So, rent is done. We put the 425. Then, bills. I have $81. Last time I didn't get my, uh, my invoices yet, so I didn't really know what to expect. It's something different every single month. But now I got them and now I know for sure what I will have to pay. So yeah, I will just add that to it. 20, 40, 60, 80, 81. And therefore I got my money ready for bills too, so I can pay my bills early as well. Fifty, 
70, 80, 90, 110, 130, 131, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 10, 11, 12, 13, yep, 131. So this is ready to be paid, which is so exciting. Usually I always have to worry about all my bills at the end of the month and I get so overwhelmed with everything because rent is up, bills are up, everything is up and there have been times where I didn't pay my bills for like a month because I didn't know where to get it from, I didn't know what to do. So it's so exciting to see this filled and to know that I can pay it. Like I can put it in my card and I can pay it. And I don't have to worry about it. And it's, it's Valentine's Day. It's the 14th of the month. Like we're in the middle of the month, you know. This is very exciting. I mean, debt is not. I mean, just the whole situation is very exciting. This is sad. I'll leave it be. Oh wait, no. I have to put $20 in there. Okay, insurance. I only need $8 in here. Didn't need any fibers. Yep, let me take dollar bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means I have twenty-eight dollars in here, which pays my renter's insurance. Then groceries. It's gonna be more exciting. This is all I have left for groceries. Last time I gave myself twenty dollars for groceries, and it was hot, you guys. It was tough. I got this little bowl. Will put my money in right now. It was tough. Like at the end, I had no money left. The the, the meat I bought. With the very last I had, it spoiled in my fridge the very next day. Like it was bad. I had to eat anything that I could find in my in my kitchen closet. I I learned from my mistake, and I'm gonna do it different this time. So this time I have scheduled sixty dollars for groceries, which is thirty days a week, which um is is more than I had before. That I just slowly wanna crawl up and see what I actually need. So for now it's going to be sixty dollars. I need forty. Sixty. Then my Diane. Let's see what she has left. Anything that is left. Okay, she has eleven dollars in here. Plus twenty is thirty thirty one. I still do wanna save up in here as well for like whatever's left is for I don't know. Flea treatments if she never needs it. Um, maybe a vet appointment, stuff like that, you know. Car emergency gets another twenty dollars. This is for when the car's fixed, so we have something for maintenance, we have something for car emergencies. Health gets an opportunity that makes it forty. So saving. 
things also gets mm. another turn was I had to use some of what was in I think it was twenty dollars for gas for his mom's truck and This is $30. $34. Shit. Two, four, six, eight, ten, thirty. Wait, now I even more money. Okay, this is so confusing. Alright, twenty. Twenty-two. Twenty-four. Twenty-six. Twenty-eight. Thirty dollars. One, two, three, four. Thirty four. Which was supposed to be fifty four. So basically it's just the twenty dollars I took for um for gas. I was at number twenty which means I now have Wait, I have 54 again. Because I took 20 for gas and I put 20 back in, so that means I have 54 again. Oh my god. I don't know what happens in my brain that makes math so complicated, but something up there is going on and it's not going right, I feel like. Like something is happening in that brain, but very slowly. Okay, enjoyment. It's $25 because, um,. You know, Valentine's Day. Eating out was supposed to get twenty five dollars. But I already spent the $20 because yesterday was Super Bowl, aka Puppy Bowl, which I watched and loved. Team Fluff won and I, I was really counting on Team Fluff even though Team Fluff did had good points too at some point. So I spent $20 already on churches, on fried chicken. Means I have $5 left in there. Which is honestly going to be like like McDonald's for pay once, but at least one McDonald's for pay. Am I right? So I have here five dollars left. Then gifts. It's twenty five dollars because Valentine's Day. Is, today is Valentine's Day, and I've had no car. I've had nowhere to go. I was working. She is still Saturday. I need to get to the store ASAP or hopefully maybe we can just postpone it for Sunday because it's a tough time at the moment. That means I have 45 in here now. I didn't even count, I just put it in. But it should make sense because this didn't change. So, yep, $45. There's also a birthday coming up. So, beauty, ten dollars, gets another ten dollars. So I want to change my hair, I'll do it myself. I have no money for a hairdresser. If all goes wrong, I just go bald and I have some, some wigs left somewhere. Okay. 
Why do I have two dollars left? I'm supposed to only have one dollar left. Well, let me put this here so I have 40. Save this up for the end of the month or uh, the beginning of next month. Alright, I guess that was it already. This was like, it felt way quicker than last time. You know, thank you for being here today. Thank you for going on this journey with me. I hope you're doing well. Remember, good things are about to come for those who wait and fight. And um, yeah, I got a new tripod. I have everything stuffed. I'm gonna pay my bills on time this month, which makes me very excited. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. See you next time. If you see this, I tried to put on um, fake nails for the first time. They look like this. They look cute, right? But they look absolutely horrible on me. So, scratch that off completely. Maybe I'll try another day. <laughs>